I be that young rapping dude, might just trap with you. Coming with the thunder, baby, might just snap it through. I roll out in the morning light with that Harley bike. All black, I'm the party type, and it's on tonight. I just stepped in no weapon, but my outfit might take your soul. See my presence impressive, got strippers slipping off the poles. I just whip, then I swerve and wish you would. I'm Timmy Turner, turned her to a carnivore. Now she treat me like a burger. Hey what's up guys, Darkbreaker here and for today's video we are going to make a guide for Ramos, a champion that just got freshly released on the European server. And in this guide we will discuss the best item build for him, the rune set, the skill order, his abilities, how does it work exactly and then afterwards we will hop right into the gameplay. I would say Ramos is a pretty easy champion, there are no hard combos on him. Okay, let's talk about the item build for Ramos and what I think is the best for him. I mean there are a bunch of options you could go for honestly, but I would say the core items are definitely Sunfire Cape or Sunfire Aegis, Thorn Mail and then it definitely depends on your enemies. I would say most of the times you want to go for Abyssal Mask because it will increase the damage you will do to opponents and also for others. It gives you magic resistance on top of that. So those three items are pretty much the best I guess. You could go for Ramos at the beginning. And for the enchantment I'm going for Mercury Locket. You could go for Redemption. You could also go for maybe Glory. Now, nah, to be honest, you don't need Glory because you have so much movement speed coming in with your Power Ball. And then for the last two items, like I said, it, it's really situational. I can name you a few good options. You could go Deadman's Blade, it gives you armor, it gives you movement speed. You could go for Guardian Angel, it provides you uh, with extra sustain. The survivability, thanks to the passive, you have a revive passive. Uh, Rundin's Omen, great uh, armor and HP item. It's really good when opponents have a lot of crit damage, then Rundin's Omen is the choice you want to go for. If they have a lot of magic resistance, you have two other options besides Abyssal Mask. You can go for Spirit Visage, you could go for Force of Nature. I mean it's really up to your liking and depending on the enemy uh, team composition or what you want to build. I can only give you the three core items I would definitely recommend you guys to go for. It's going to be Sunfire, Thornmail and Abyssal Mask. And then for the order you could also switch it up uh, slightly. Maybe you go for the tier 1 component of Sunfire and then go for Thornmail and then later on finish it into Sunfire Aegis. And the reason for that is so you have more damage in the early game. But in the gameplay I'm going to show you pretty soon. I'm just going for Sunfire because I can't be bothered. Because Sunfire is already pretty good. You don't necessarily have to go for armor immediately. Even though it gives you more damage. Uh, Sunfire increases your jungle clear speed pretty significant. So I like to go for that. Considering that his early game jungle clear is kind of scuffed. In my opinion it's not that great. Anyways. Let's talk about the runes. Um, Aftershock, it's, I mean, when you taunt, you get more armor and magic resistance. That's an awesome rune for a champion like Ramos. Uh, his passive scales basically with armor. So, the more armor you have, the more damage you're going to do with, uh, with your passive. So, great combination for a tank like Ramos. And then, weakness, if you taunt him or stun him with your power ball, you're going to do increased damage for the next 5 seconds. But there are different options for the first row of the rune set. You could go for Brutal for quicker jungle clear. You could also go for Triumph which is pretty good because you're getting missing health back. And that's really good on tanks because you will get a lot of healing. You could also go for Hunter's Vampirism. I saw it on a few guides. 
Uh, but I mean it's on PC so it's kind of different, but maybe it's viable because you will get a lot of sustain back. But I guess weakness is the most consistent in my opinion. Then for the second row I'm going for the extra armor in yeah after 5 minutes. And then obviously mastermind for more jungle clear damage. For the spells I mean yeah. Uh, smite, flash, you could also go for smite ghost. But I like Flash, it's more consistent, you can go Flash Taunt and uh, catch people off guard, so that's just my opinion. And... Hmm, yeah, I guess that's it for the item build for the runes and for the spells. Ramos passive is rolling Armadillo, he's getting more movement speed out of combat. And um, when he's using his first ability, he's also going to get increased movement speed. His first ability is Powerball. He accelerates himself, gets a lot of movement speed. And when he hits an enemy, the opponent is going to get knocked uh, back and also slowed. You can also just use it immediately instead of charging. And they will still get um, the same damage. Next ability is Defensive Ball Curl. Spike Shell, that's the passive, he deals bonus magical damage uh, which scales with his armor. And the active is that he gets a lot of armor and magic resistance and the passive does double the amount of, no, 50% more damage. Third ability is his Taunt. He can, he can taunt an enemy for 1.25 seconds and gain 50% attack speed. Obviously it's going to scale with the amount of level the ability has. The ultimate is Soaring Slam. Ramos hops into the air and slams down dealing 125 magical damage and creating an aftershock effect that also slows the opponent. Aftershock deals 35 magical damage every second and slows enemies, stacking up to 60% and the more movement speed you have the longer your range for the ultimate is going to be and right now i'm just showing you that you can just flash and turn onto an opponent to cheese and catch them off guard so that's basically the abilities for ramos pretty simple and his kit is definitely easy okay let's go right into the gameplay um yeah unlucky we are on the red side so my bot lane is at the top lane and therefore considering that uh, Camille doesn't give me a big uh, leash I am probably going to start blue buff what you usually want to do is to go for red raptors and then straight for the blue buff because Ramos clear is really slow and in this gameplay I'm actually going for um, second ability max but I've tried out different uh, skill order pa paths um, yeah honestly I'm not sure what's the best like I've asked people they say Q max other people say um, or first ability max and then other people say third ability max and in this gameplay I'm trying second ability max because that's the OG way when I was still playing Ramos uh, you used to go second ability max, but I guess uh, from what I can tell it's definitely not the best honestly and Maybe I could go for What I've been trying is three points into the first ability and then maxing the third ability the taunt because the more points you have into taunt the longer the duration of the taunt and also the more attack speed you are going to get at max level you're going to get 80% attack speed. I see people start first ability in the jungle, maybe if they are starting raptors, but I would say going second ability into first ability is probably the best way. Actually no, no actually no, actually no, because you get a movement attack speed from the third ability. So what I'm doing right here is probably not the worst thing you could go for but i'm actually kind of slow i'm actually giga slow
And right now I'm just going for the scuttle and hopefully I can secure this one at least. He's fighting there. Yeah, yeah, I can re I'm too slow, man. I'm too slow. I'm too slow, buddy. And this is the first time I'm playing Ramos. And obviously I played him two times more to see different item builds and different skill orders. And to be honest, there are different ways to play Ramos. More defensive, go for second ability max. More clear speed, more mobility, go for first ability max. More utility, go for third ability max. So you definitely have a lot of options you could go for. I would say... Probably just go... Second ability into third ability into first ability and max put two points into first ability or three points and then go for taunt max. So that's how I would do the skill order for Ramos. But in this gameplay, I'm just going for second ability max. But uh, you guys will notice that my jungle clear is kind of slow. I mean, I'm really tanky for team fights, so that's the benefit. But my mobility and my jungle clear speed is definitely slow. So, if you want better jungle clear speed and more mo mobility, go for first ability. A few points at least, so you have a lower cooldown, and then go for third ability for the longer taunt duration, and also. Uh, for the increased attack speed. Okay, she's just going to shumpu out. Yikes. Dragon is up. I don't know how we want to contest it when no one is grouping there exactly. Like, I can come, but we have to group somehow. And I don't have ultimate, so that's kind of scuffed, obviously. Going to go for the dragon, maybe I can taunt this guy and I can secure the dragon. And yes, we do. Let's go. Okay, let's see if I can... Uh, please don't tell me they both have flash. They both have flash and they're both going to escape. Uh, it's okay. Let's go for the Katarina. Maybe I can kill this girl. She's going to Shumpo. Come on, Camille, Camille! I think the ultimate was wasted, honestly. She could just kill Katarina with one more auto attack and then use the ultimate for the Kaiser. Yeah. Come on, Camille. Okay, let's see. I think they are still fighting. So I will try to use my ultimate in slowing this guy. Yeah, we can kill him. But maybe do actually we can kill him. He is going to die here. Right? Misfortune, kill him! Nice. And oh this Kaiser is low. Maybe I can just roll onto her. Flash in. Taunt. S2. I do zero damage! I do zero damage! Even if I had my power, even if I had more points in power ball, it wouldn't even matter. I still do zero damage, basically. That's actually kind of scuffed. The amount of damage I do is pretty low. Like, when I used to play Ramos on PC, his damage output was way higher when you go for the second ability. Maybe the second ability passive, it's just not that strong. I mean, you at least get a lot of armor and magic resistance. And you're also going to reflect some damage onto them. Wait, let me read again. Defensive ball curl. Wait a second. Dude, I'm tapping out. Yikes. Oh yeah, you don't have the reflect. You get more armor and more magic resistance. 
um, based on your armor and your magic resistance and your passive scales with armor so the more armor you have on your passive the more damage you will do and yeah I guess maybe should, should have went for more armor for more damage on the second ability so the more armor you have the more damage you will do with your auto attacks while using your second ability and using your taunt will give you a lot of attack speed so that's not too bad okay Evelyn is on the rift hero let's see what we can do maybe I can steal it there are so many people and my team is nowhere nearby but I still end up getting that rift herald just going trying to escape right here now I'm getting some more armor so my damage output will be uh, higher thanks to the second ability and I'm just getting some magic resistance against this Kaiser I mean against Katarina who is kind of fat and the enemy Evelyn so just a little bit not too much I'm going to finish Thormail next let's go for the Z he's already going to die yikes I came for nothing yo he's already dead he is already dead yeah this Katarina is fat but we have Ramos and he can taunt them so from what I can tell in my games right now Ramos is definitely a solid tank uh, his CC is great the taunt ability is amazing because it will force people to go for QSS Quicksilver Slash instead of Zonyas so that's going to be pretty dope but his early game is definitely kind of weak compared to what I'm used to Okay, going to taunt ultimate oh she's going to flash over I thought she would go to the upper side but she just flashed downside so what type of hell trying to taunt but I'm just going to die here regardless this team fight is kind of messy Kaisa still ends up dying so that's not too bad but definitely early game Ramos isn't that good he needs some levels so he can get the cooldown slower for the uh, first ability and also for the third ability and then in the mid game and late game I would say he's pretty damn solid maybe in the full late game he kind of falls off when people have um, Mortal Reminder, Void Staff I guess then that's the point where he's falling off pretty hard in the full late game because ADCs will just stretch him regardless but I guess in the mid game he's extremely strong in the mid game he can tank a lot and his CC and utility is pretty solid I can't kill him, too greedy But, but that's the case for most tanks. Most tanks are not that strong in the early game. But in the mid game they are really strong. And then they fall off in the full late game. I guess late game they're still strong. But full late game when everyone has max items. That's when tanks are not that strong anymore. Because they're basically butter to mortal reminder and void stuff. So anyways, did you guys try out Ramos? What's your opinion about Ramos? And if you guys enjoyed this video and you think, oh, Darkbreaker, nice guide, thank you, I learned a lot, good tips, then definitely leave a like. And if you guys don't want to miss out on any future videos, any future guides, then also subscribe to the video. And if we hit the 300k subs, there will be a giveaway, a skin giveaway. I'm not sure, I think maybe 300, 300 subs, three, uh, 300k subs, $300 giveaway, sounds good, sounds good to me. And yeah, definitely check out the guide I made as well today, how I reach challenger, double video for today. If you guys don't enjoy this type of content, I don't know what's wrong with you. 
educational high elo content. Leave a like, babies. And boost the YouTube algorithm. That's what other YouTubers always say. Go boost the YouTube algorithm with your likes and comments. And also activate the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. Engage! Four man ultimate! Going to taunt the. Wait, who did I taunt? Katarina, maybe? Okay, going to flash and taunt and get that Avalon. That's what I mean. That's why I like to go for flash so you can make plays like that. But that's just my opinion. Do you guys prefer ghost or flash? Going to taunt this Alistar. Almost going to kill him. He's actually going to die. I'm just going to back off. I'm just going to back off. You can see. Now my damage is crazy. Now my damage is pretty good. Because I have a lot of armor. And thanks to the attack speed I'm getting from the taunt. Which is 80%. I'm doing decent amount of damage by now. But yeah, mid game. Early game? Nah, not really. Mid game. Oh, that's when it's going to get juicy. Okay, they're fighting pretty deep without me. Scuffed, kinda scuffed. Maybe they should wait for me a little bit. Going to jump in onto the Kaisa. Going to taunt her. And that's her. That's that's why Ramos taunt on ADCs is just so good. You can go, you can taunt Katarina and you can fuck her up. You can taunt Kaisa and she can't do anything. So that's why people have to start and go for Quicksilver Slash now. So definitely, utility-wise and tanking-wise, Ramos is a damn strong tank. And I would say he's actually a champion that is pretty balanced right now. Unlike the champions they released that started extremely strong, Ramos is definitely at a pretty balanced state. Even if he's weak in the early game, if he's going to get into the mid game, Thanks to his utility, even if he's behind, he's going to do a lot of work in teamfights. Yeah. And I can't wait for the new champions in May. Renekton, Rengar and Kha'Zix. Those assassins are going to be damn juicy. So damn juicy. Going to get that kill. Can we clean up more? Let's just go for this guy. Oh, Kaiser is here. Let's go for Kaiser. Never mind. I changed my mind. Let's go for Kaiser. They're so low life. That's so. Graves! Graves! Come on, buddy! You can do it! You can do it! I guess you can't do it. They're so low. Three people low life ex escaping. That's so unfortunate. Graves! I don't know, that's, uh, that's just unfortunate man, that's just a really unfortunate for us. Honestly, the champion I really want, I don't care about Rengar, I don't care about Kha'Zix, I don't, I don't care about Renekton, I want Riven, I want Riven, I'm a dirty Riven one trick pony, I used to spam Riven in the OG days, all day long. Like, Shivana used to be my main champion for jungle, and Riven was my main champion for the top lane. And oh boy, I can wait. I know you guys are hyped for champion, flashy combos, high skill cap, or high skill ceiling. So definitely, Riven is going to be much better than Fiora much more exciting and also much more exciting to watch not only to play also to watch so if you guys have played pc before what champions 
are you excited to see in the future? What champions do you want Wild Rift to release ASAP? You want them to come on, give me Mordekaiser, give me Riven, give me. I don't know. Senna? <laughs> Stuff like that. Or. Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe I can just go for the Kaiser. There are so many champions still not released yet. So, definitely a lot of options still left. Let's go for that Evelyn with the Taunter, and she's going to die. So, anyways, that's going to be it for the gameplay. We are going to finish and wrap it up. So, if you guys like this content, I would definitely appreciate a like. And if you guys don't want to miss out on any future videos in the next month or in the next upcoming days, subscribe, and I see you next time. Bye bye.